In the last math talk, we looked at an introduction to integers and specifically how we could represent them on the number line visually. And we used arrows, positive integers pointed to the right on the number line, negative integers pointed to the left. And when we were first putting an integer down on the number line, we'd put the tail at zero and the tip at its value on that number line. We even did just a basic addition of two integers. Well, we're going to just do a couple more in this uh, math talk and then in future math talks we're going to look at it maybe a more efficient way to do it without a number line and how to deal with double signs. So we begin with the question negative 4 added to positive 8. Well just like the last math talk I'm going to start by drawing an arrow which represents negative 4. So I'll start with a tail at 0 and I will move 4 units to the left, four units to the left to finish the end of my arrow. Put an arrowhead on the end of that and a dot at the beginning and that will tell me that that is my negative four. Now when I construct my positive eight I won't start the tail at zero anymore. I'll start from where I left off with the negative four. So I'll construct my positive integers in blue and it will look like this. So starting with its tail where we finished off at the negative 4, I now move 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 units to the right. So I draw my uh, arrow to be 8 units long and it's pointed to the right. So now it looks like this and that will represent our positive 8. So you ask yourself, what exactly do we have? What is the net result of what we have here? A negative 4 added to a positive 8. Well that would be no different than starting at 0 and finishing out at positive 4. So this result here is the net result of our two integers being added together. So this is a positive so if we were to write the answer to this question, we would say that it's plus 4. Moving on. Now we have negative 3 added to negative 2. So once again, I'll start with an arrow that starts at 0, and I will draw it 3 units to the left to represent my negative 3. So here is my arrow that represents my negative 3. Then immediately following that I will draw a second arrow that extends another two units to the left. So one, two units and that represents my negative 2. So that's my negative 2. Now once again we say what is that all equivalent to? Well that's no different then starting at 0 and stretching to the left to finish at negative 5. And so we would say that this, when those two are added together, this is equivalent to negative 5. And you will recall from the introduction video that we said that integers suggest change. So if we talk about a negative 3 followed by a negative 2 or a negative 3 added to a negative 2, the net result is a negative 5. Think of it this way. Think about losing money. If you lost $3 and then you followed that with a loss of $2, the net result would be a loss of $5. So this result is negative 5. Let's just do one more. Now this one's a bit longer. We're taking a positive 2, adding a negative 1, adding a negative 6, adding a positive 10. Okay, let's start drawing. So our positive 2 looks like this, where we start at 0 and we extend 2 units to the right. And I'm just going to draw my tail and my head on that. And then I follow that. That's the, the positive 2 that I did. I'm not going to follow that with a negative 1. So starting where I finished with my last arrowhead, I'm going to draw a negative 1. That would finish right there. So let me put a dot on that and an arrowhead on that. 
And now I'm just going to fill in that that's the negative one. And this one was the positive two. And now to that, I'm adding a negative six. So I will start from where I left off with my negative one. I'm going to draw it just a little higher so I'm not drawing through my positive two that I wrote there. And I'm going to extend one, two, three, four, five, six units to the left. And so now I am in this finishing position here. And that's my negative six. And then finally, I have a big positive 10 I've got to add to that. And so I'm just going to draw it up here so it doesn't get messed up with my writing. And I have to stretch five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 units to the right. So in fact, that is the final integer that I'm trying to add on. That's my positive 10. So now I ask myself, what is this all equivalent to? The positive two followed by the negative one, followed by the negative six, followed by the positive 10. In other words, all of those added together. Well, it's no different than having just started at zero and finished out here to the right. And so that is equivalent to, when I mark my tail and my head on, that's equivalent to positive five. So if you moved, if this were a, a walking path that you performed, you walked two units to the right, then one unit to the left, then six units to the left, then 10 units to the right, you could have accomplished the same net result if you had started at zero and just walked five units to the right. So this has a value of positive five. That's all I wanna say in my next video, I'm going to talk about subtracting integers, which is a sort of a different thought process, but uh, you'll be fine with it. See you soon.